Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Pansu here, and today I'm bringing you first impressions on Pop Team Epic. Now, why did I wait so long to make a first impressions? Well, it's really simple. It's the golden rule, three episodes first, and then you make a first impressions, you know? That's how I like to organize all my stuff, all my anime shows, and all that, you know. First, give it the three episode rule. If you like it, keep it. If you hate it, after the third episode, just drop it and move on to something else. But honestly, since the first episode, I honestly fell in love with this series. It's, it's something pretty completely new, you know. You think that the comedy area of the parodies they make would be pretty old or stale? Or get old really fast because if it's not well done, a parody just repeats itself and becomes annoying. But Pop Team Epic keeps it fresh, keeps it very weird, stupid at times to be honest, but does it right, you know? We begin Pop Team Epic, it starts off literally trolling you and making you think it's an idle anime. And you're like, what, what, how, how does this tie in or anything? And you're thrown off by a loop and you're just waiting until these two girls arrive. You know, the, I forgot their names. I think it was Pipi Me and Pokachi. Yeah, I think it was something like that. But you're just waiting for them to pop out at any moment. But they don't pop out for the intro or nothing. And then the, the, the credit, the, I'm sorry, I'm brain dead. I'm always brain dead. <laughs> but the, what's it called? The episode name comes up, you know, where they give out the episode name and they go episode one, blah, blah, blah. And out of nowhere, Pokachi, I think. Yeah, I think it's the short one. The short one comes in and rips it apart and just says, no but in a manly old man voice and you're just what and that's the opening of pop team epic so it's it's pretty unique <laughs> i honestly enjoyed the type of comedy that it has and now let's dive in a little bit more on the background of pop team epic where does it come from well the Pop Team Epic comes from a manga known as a Yonkoma, or in other words, a four cell manga, which is something like Western comic strips, you know, the ones that you find in the news where it's just four panels and it's just one joke, you know, simple, straight to the punch, one joke, one gag, blah, 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 all that good stuff, right? So that's how, what's it called? That's how Pop Team Epic was born. but. The reason it got so popular was because of all the memes they injected inside of it. They used so many modern memes. They're so damn vulgar. Like, it starts off with them just sticking the middle finger. <laughs> Excuse me. Or them just cursing out somebody. Them being completely random at times and beating each other up. Or it's... It's just completely random if you think about it. There is no plot to Pop Team Epic. It is just straight up memes and it's just dumb stuff, you know? It's fun to watch, it's entertaining, and I enjoyed every moment of it. Now, let's talk about the episodes themselves and all that good stuff. So. The episodes, animation-wise, it's very unique in the way they draw the two, the two girls, Pipi Me and Popuko. They, they essentially look like memes. It's, I don't know how else to put it. It's very meme-like, the art style. It's, at sometimes they change the art style for something extremely horrible like it's crappy it's just awful it looks like a third like a little kid drew it but 
they do it on purpose and it's hilarious. Hilarious, stupid, and freaky at times. And it just fits in so well. Essentially, the plot overall is just one big meme. That's all that I can say about it. <laughs> it's one giant meme. Now, let's talk about the, what's it called? Mm, the voice acting. Yeah. So, Pop Team Epic is divided. Each episode is divided into two parts. 12 minutes is dedicated to the girl, the female voice actors, and the other 12 minutes is dedicated to the male voice actors. They, the main characters, the two girls, are divided by old men voices, which is hilarious. <laughs> it, it fits in so damn well, but it's so hard getting used to it because you just see two girls with old men voices and all that, but it's just hilarious. Both voice acting is awesome. I loved it. It fits in so damn well. And well, nothing mo much more to say. It's just short, simple, sweet, awesome, just like a dick. If you know how to use it, you know, you gotta be smart. <laughs> but <laughs> enough of the dumb jokes. Soundtrack. The soundtrack is amazing. I really, really love the soundtrack of it. It's so vibrant, so perky, so fun. It fits in perfectly, and I enjoy it so much. The outro also, a nice outro. The intro, animation-wise, I usually, I don't know about you guys, but I just skip the intro, you know? I just usually skip it. It's very rare when I do stay and watch the whole thing. Only few exceptions have been Tokyo Ghoul. And that's really just, you know... Oh, and Dead Man Wonderland, High School of the Dead. Those are some few examples of outro intros that I did stay for and I did enjoy a lot. And Pop Team Epic has an amazing meme-injected intro. It's amazing. I loved it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, if you're that person that likes to watch anime or any shows just for plot, action, and you want it to make sense, don't watch Pop Team Epic. You're going to get annoyed by it. You know, it's just randomness at its finest. It's meme-tastic. It's the perfect anime for this meme-filled generation, you know? <laughs> so, I honestly recommend it to all of you who just want a good laugh, want to see something pretty, pretty dumb, you know? It's fun, unique, original. I recommend it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, that concludes it. It's really not something so long because I, have re I really don't have that much to say. I just wanted to do this because I wanted to recommend it to all of you, even if you're not an anime fan. It's still a very good series. It's, it reminds me a lot of Tim and Eric the er and the er Eric Andre show. That's around the level of randomness that it has. I really do recommend it. I highly enjoyed it. And yeah. I won't say any more about in-depth episodes because, you know, there's really not much to analyze. And if I tell you it, the joke is going to lose all impact, you know. So just go watch it for yourself. Why are you listening to me? You know, there's much more better things to do than listening to me, like watching Pop Team Epic. So go out and enjoy it. I hope you guys loved it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this rambling because it is i'm pac practically rambling by now so <laughs> thank you guys for listening and until next time peace peace enjoy pop team epic too many thoughts on my mind i can't sleep at night so i just keep writing i don't need no help i don't need opinions so don't waste my time then i just been living online my city don't show me no loving